What's going on guys? Welcome back to week three of Raiders franchise. Last week, as you guys saw, we got that big victory. And this week we're going against the Steelers, a team that matches up pretty well against us. Our offense is better than their offense according to these stats, but their defense is better than our defense. So it's going to be a tough battle between us and the Steelers. I think both of our teams pretty close to each other at this point, um, especially at this part of the season. And the first thing we're going to do right now is look at some players that we need to start negotiating with. Josh Jacobs, the first guy on this list. And the thing about Josh Jacobs, he's very interested in our team. And he's one of the best running backs in the NFL. He's only 25 years old, but as we know, running backs don't have the highest shelf life, especially in the NFL right now. I think what we're going to try to do is give him a two-year contract so he'll stay here for two years, and then he'll be about 27, and then potentially we see if we want to keep him again. I don't think four years is in the contract right now for us. We will up the bonus a little bit to 5.8, and... <clears throat> Josh Jacobs is going to stay with us for two more years. I think that's fine. I'm fine spending that money on him. Byron Jones, though, a guy who we got in free agency. I'm not exactly sure if we're willing to sign with him yet. We're going to wait on that one. He's a little bit older. Uh, Bilal Nichols, still, he doesn't really seem like he wants to re-sign with us. 7.8 million. I'm not really sure about that. David Long, though our cornerback here. He's still young at 25 years old. Uh, if we can move this down a little bit to, I mean, if we can get the lowest that we possibly can. Okay. He says, raise the salary. We'll go back and do that in the future weeks. Um, a few other players. I mean, Amik Robertson, we're going to have to resign some of these cornerbacks. Marcus Peters, 30 years old, depending on how he and Byron Jones play this year. I think one of those guys should stay for us. I mean, at this point, uh, Marcus Peters is asking for more money overall, so I'm assuming it would probably be better at this point to go with Byron Jones, especially if they play pretty similarly. Marcus Peters better at this point, but a 30-year-old corner. Let's see how many years. If he wants one year for $10 million, that is a lot. We're going to try to lower this down a little bit. If we can do 9.7, he said he wants to increase the pay too. I'm not surprised there. The players that we have built around us right now, not that great, so... We're going to go through some of these guys. Um, I think DeAndre Carter is a guy like we don't really need a lot of these guys coming back. Austin Hooper would be fine if we can get him cheap, but $15 million for three years. If it's only $5 million a year, I think that's fair for Austin Hooper. He can be our backup tight end to Michael Mayer. $5 million, a good enough salary for a guy like him. Byron Jones and the rest of these guys we're going to hold off a little bit on, especially those older cornerbacks. We want to wait a little bit to see how they are. Uh, we are still waiting for the update if they finally fix the mock drafts and all the scouting stuff as of right now if you guys haven't seen in madden 22 madden 24 sorry that the scouting and all the recruiting and everything just is kind of messed up trying to load in draft classes they just haven't worked from online yet so hopefully by the next episode that'll all get fixed and then we can start doing that scouting as we'll get into week four but with that being said we're just gonna get into this game right now and i'll see you when we're on the field with the steelers so here we go sunday night prime time against the steelers we are going to kick the ball off to start this game we're at home this is one of those games where we're pretty evenly matched with the steelers so i think it's going to come down to quarterback play especially with guys like jimmy garoppolo and kenny pickett i think we have the better quarterback up at this point, but I would say our receiving core is pretty similar. They have Najee Harris, but I think we have the better running back. So we just have to see. Hopefully this defense can play well like we saw last week. I don't know if we'll get as many turnovers. That would be great, but we need a big game as we get it. Starting off there, we drop Najee Harris for a loss of two. And this linebacking core has been solid for us. The mix of Spillane and Diablo has been great. And hopefully we can read this out a little bit. He throws it underneath to George Pickens. We stop him there. Third and five. A big play. We need a big play right here to stop them. A three and out to start the game would be huge. I'm not sure where Pickett's going to try to go with this ball. Probably across the middle. As he tries to take off and we hit him. He throws the ball out of bounds. And we get the ball off of that stop. A good three and out stop for us to start the game. So as we've seen through the first few weeks, Jimmy Garoppolo 
He's been on sometimes, he's been off. But the main guy who's been carrying the load of this team is Josh Jacobs. And that's why we re-signed him to those two years. I mean, he's churning out these yards. Last week, as we see, 29 rushes for almost 140 yards. No touchdowns, but we still end up with a win, so we can't be mad about the no touchdowns. But this team overall, it's solid, and we'll have to see what the future holds, especially for some of these players in the future. Uh, guys like Michael Mayer, I expect to be big guys for us for the foreseeable future. Jimmy Garoppolo at quarterback, though, they did sign him to a big contract in real life. We'll see what happens with him after this season. Devontae Adams, obviously getting older every year, but still one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. I think we're going to have to really build around those pieces like Michael Mayer and Josh Jacobs. I mean, both of those guys still young and they should be cornerstones for our offense for the next foreseeable years. And Jimmy Garoppolo is going to roll out here. I forgot how slow he was. No flag on that, apparently, at the end of the play. Forgot how slow he was, but we just didn't have anyone open there. I want to get Devontae Adams more involved. I feel like um, he is the best player in this offense. And beside, I guess besides Josh Jacobs, I would give the edge to Josh Jacobs right now just because... He doesn't have to rely on the quarterback throwing him the ball like Devontae Adams does. But overall, I mean, the wide receiver core is solid. It just depends on how good Jimmy G can be. He gets pressure there. And this offensive line, too. That is one thing that I think we want to address in the draft, potentially, with a lot of good offensive tackles in this draft that we'll see as we scout, like Joe Alt, Olufashanu. Um, there's just a lot of decent guys. As Michael Mayer gets wide open and we hit the rookie in the end zone, for the touchdown, the first one of the game, as we're going to go up 7 0 to start this game. So, another drive here, starting it off. They give it to Najee, and Marcus Peters with a big hit. I mean, he's looking for his payday. Najee Harris, as we know, a very good rookie season after that, falling off a little bit. He's one of those guys where if he was on our team, I don't know necessarily if we'd re sign him to a long contract. But Josh Jacobs is just one of those guys as of right now that we've seen this year. And as we get the fumble, it's talking through there. But as we've seen, Josh Jacobs solid in pretty much every aspect so far in the first few games. So we have to re-sign him for two years. That's the big news in the Raiders organization right now as they just keep giving it off to Najee Harris. And it's working right after I was talking bad about Najee Harris. He already has 40 yards racked up on us on the start of this drive. On first and 10, they run it again, but this time we get in there with Spillane. We get the stop there on first and 10. On second and 11, it looks like they're lined up to run again. I don't know if this is just an all-day running attack from the Steelers. That's what they're trying to do. As he gets through the hole, but Mo Rig clogs that at the last second. Big for us. That would have been a big gain. Third and 9, they've ran the ball pretty much every play on this drive, so hopefully we can get a stop here if they decide to throw it i don't know if they're not confident in kenny pickett or not but they throw that deep and on the first throw they get the touchdown he just beat us there deep pat fryer -Muth. not much to say but two touchdowns in this game so far from two tight ends 11 receptions 204 yards and three touchdowns from michael Mayer to start this season like i said before we want to get him in that rookie of the year conversation he is going to be a massive piece for us this season and in the future of this team, especially with Devontae Adams out there. I mean, Michael Mayer is going to be open on a lot of these plays, especially if they're shadowing him with a higher safety up there. Michael Mayer should be open in these shorter routes as Josh Jacobs gets blasted there on first down. So not much on second down. Third and six here, looking for the conversion. They get that pass rush in. We do find Jacobs, but just too far outside, and it's incomplete. The Steelers get a stop on us. Our offense flattens out there as we go three and out on the second drive of the game. So it looks like they're set up to run again, first and 10. And they do right up the middle with Najee Harris, and we just couldn't stop him there. I was talking bad about Najee Harris, and now he has a 71-yard touchdown on us, and... I don't know what just happened, but he just ran up the gut, and 
our seven point lead has gone to a seven point deficit. So on first and 10, trying to get this lead back. We just don't really have anyone open down there and our offensive line isn't helping our case. We're gonna have to start running the ball with Josh Jacobs, especially if they're gonna give it to us. And it looks like they are here. If we can get that block. And Josh Jacobs cuts up a beautiful play there. That's the thing about him, especially in the backfield. If he can be patient and wait a second, our offensive line may take a second to get those blocks, but when they do, it's always going to work for us. Josh Jacobs back there again. Toss it off to him, get another four yards. Jimmy Garoppolo hasn't looked terrible yet. I mean, it's only the first quarter, but the main concern right now is this defense, especially after letting up that huge run for a touchdown. But we're going to need to f tie this up on offense. And that's good. That's fine for us if we can hit guys like Michael Mayer on passes like that across the middle. So I'm first and 10, looking for Devontae Adams here, potentially. Hunter Renfro just throwing that up a little bit. Almost got back to the ball, covered by Joey Porter there. And he's trying to fight Joey Porter, apparently. Hunter Renfro giving the rookie out of Penn State a little bit of work right there on the outside. As Josh Jacobs got past the first tackle, but TJ Watt just manhandled him and Josh Jacobs got back up but after a hit like that I don't know if I'd be able to get up Josh Jacobs trying to hit him again and just not in the pocket that we were looking for an interception across the middle thrown and that one's tough to see on first and 10 they decide to throw it and they get to the outside Marcus Peters just isn't there and the first quarter is going to run out as we're down by seven with the Steelers having their ball across their own 50-yard line. So first and 10 here to start the second quarter. I'm expecting a run. We send the blitz. There isn't a run, and they get to the outside. Hobbs gets pickings, but this secondary is getting absolutely beat up right now. Like I said before, that offense, I think our offense is a lot better than the defense up to this point, and this defense has been getting killed so far in the first quarter and change diablo and the gang get in there get the stop there on Najee harris another lined up run up to this point it looks like second and 12 and they do and spillane gets in there a big hit off the blitz i mean Najee harris 112 yards already on nine carries that's just insane we need to stop that on third and 12 we need to stop here too speaking of stops as they, if he actually completed that pass, that would have been beautiful. Hobbs got beat. I don't know what he's celebrating for. He just got bailed out by a bad Kenny Pickett throw. And if they make this a 10-point lead, it could be worse, especially after how bad our defense is playing. But that drive, a good bend, but don't break defense as we're down 10. So Jimmy Garoppolo coming out here after throwing that interception. Hopefully we can actually get something going here. We don't even know what the routes are. Um, we hit this underneath to Michael Mayer, a very risky throw. I, I'm not sure if he caught it or not, but either way, I mean, I guess he did catch it. It doesn't matter. It's still second and 10 here. We're looking for someone open. If we can find a route underneath, we do find Michael Mayer, and he catches it again for a third and one. This Josh Jacobs territory here, third and one. We got to get a conversion. We can't go three and out again, especially down 10 and have to punt the ball away. But we're just going to run this up the gut with Josh Jacobs. He does get that first down for us. We need to involve him a little bit more today, especially if we want to come back in this game. Already down 10 points. I think the key is just grinding this defense out. I know everyone in the box for them is very solid, and we've seen that so far today. But we need to wear down that defense. We, are, we should be scared of T.J. Watt on the edge, too. I mean, this whole defense on the other side is in Cameron Hayward, too. Not even mentioning him, but we hit Jacoby Mayer, Jacoby Myers across the field. A big play for us. We just got to keep rolling with this momentum. We are going to run a little bit of hurry up here. Hopefully, this doesn't make us throw an interception I thought that one was close we we're inside of the pocket I was scared to throw that away but keeping up with this hurry up offense I mean we'll see what happens but 
We do find something across the middle. Jacoby Myers again, third and three. So a big play here. I'm thinking a little bit of a screen pass to Josh Jacobs. If we can get him to the outside on that right side, if we can get some blocks there, I think we should be able to get this first down, if not a little bit more. We are going to be working against TJ Watt, but we get the block out there. Josh Jacobs just needs to break that edge, and he can't get there. Fourth and three. I think we have to keep the points here. I mean, our defense hasn't looked great, but still only the second quarter. I think Daniel Carlson from deep hopefully should make that. I thought I messed it up, but seven-point game again. We need another stop from this defense, basically, as our offense fizzles out towards the end. Get the stop on first down there. Big tackle by Diablo. Second and five. We need to do something here. Uh, we need If we can hold him to another three and out, that would be massive for us. Spillane gets there and gets the huge hit on Najee Harris. We've been able to neutralize him a little bit in the past few plays. I'm not going to say anything yet. I'm going to take that comment back because I don't want to get burned again. I was talking bad about Najee Harris in the first quarter, and then he just... Run, ran that 70-yard touchdown against us as they throw it right across the middle. Everyone getting burned. Our cornerback room is looking like burnt toast through this first few weeks, especially in this game. I'm expecting the run here again on first down. Send a little bit of a blitz. They're switching it up, so this could be a pass, but we are going to stay with the blitz here. Hold back a little bit incomplete. Good breakup. Spillane coming across gets blocked, and I don't know where... I don't know where Diablo was going after that hit, but just let him keep running. Like I said before, I said something about containing Najee Harris, and he got another 20-yard gain on us. We need to get a stop here. Send in the blitz. Every time we blitz, they end up throwing, it seems like. And we just can't stop them. It seems like they're just... If they're not running the ball on us, they're throwing the ball effectively. We're going to keep sending these blitzes. I mean, eventually they're going to pay off especially if they decide to run again and they do there but they throw it across the middle they get the first down i don't know how he got that ball in to Allen robinson but Allen robinson caught it across the middle and this is one of those plays where we don't send the blitz and it looks like they might run but we're going to stay true here with the pass defense and a wide open touchdown and he just dropped it spillane celebrating i don't know if he's the one who broke that up or not yeah, that's just a a bobbled pass for an easy touchdown. That could have been Frymuth's second of the day. Just couldn't get the hands down. Could not catch that ball. Michael Mayer would never do that. And they throw back out to him, and he gets leveled by Marcus Peters. But still third and goal from the two here. We got to try to hold him to a field goal. Looks like they are going to run. We're going to send the all-out blitz on them. If they hand it off to Najee Harris, everyone's going to be going after him. They don't. They throw it to the back of the end zone. And it's picked off by Tremor. A huge interception there for the Raiders. On the back of the end zone. I don't know who they were going to in the back of the end zone. We'll see the replay there. I thought that we were done for with that blitz. They're looking for George Pickens and Tremor comes up with the pick here and now we're in a spot where we have to go down and score even if it's a field goal we need some points going into halftime just no one open there that's fine on first down we need something though looking here to the outside michael Mayer's open we just can't get that throw if we had that throw underneath could have been the first down but can't get that one they're suggesting us to run we're gonna we're going for it i mean it's third and ten we have another chance to get the first down here if they wouldn't give me four downs if I wasn't meant to use them. Devontae Adams and just absolutely thrown to the sideline again. Jimmy Garoppolo couldn't hit a guy if he was standing wide open with his pants down in the middle of the street. And the interception seems like it's for nothing. We did stop a touchdown there, but nothing on the offensive end. We need another stop. We can't let them score going into halftime. This defense needs to come up big again. Peters misses the tackle. Diablo misses the tackle too. And George Pickens gets right back into field goal territory already for them. We need to work on these tackles. I mean, our secondary is getting absolutely killed out here. That should have been a tackle from both of those guys. Peters 
and Diablo. Diablo was on top of his back and just couldn't get anything going. They hit the sideline again. Michael, not Michael Mayer. Pat Fryermuth gets the catch on the outside. Second and two here. Expect the run. I don't know if they will with a minute and 20 left, but lined up for it. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they do. Spillane gets pressure in. They get it across, and it's complete. These guys must have hands of steel right now. Darnell Washington, except when they're on the red zone, apparently, as Fryermuth dropped that touchdown. But they are going for the screen here. Spillane gets over. Stops him for about a gain of four. In this scenario here, I think best case for us, obviously, would be an interception. But, again, but at this point, if we can hold him to a field goal, especially if we get the ball in the second half, I'm fine with that. We just can't let them score a touchdown here and go up by two scores. That's going to be tough to come back from if this offense just keeps running it on us and getting open passes like that since the secondary can't do anything. It is incomplete. I guess Kenny, Kenny Two Gloves led him a little bit too far on the sideline. Another lucky break for us. Third and six here. Speaking of lucky breaks, we could use another one here. Make sure no one gets anything across the middle. They throw it to the sideline again. Only get a gain of one. So hold them to a field goal, like I said, best case scenario. We still have 44 seconds, so Daniel Carson with a big leg. Hopefully we can get into field goal range ourselves and make it a seven-point game as he drills that one down the middle. So about 41 seconds here, and hopefully we can get something. So 41 seconds. We just need to get down the field, get into field goal range before the end of this half. I don't know who he's throwing to. Michael Mayer running across the middle was wide open, and we just throw it right to Minka Fitzpatrick. Jimmy Garoppolo might be the worst quarterback in the NFL up to this point. I don't even know what to do with that play. I mean, we're trying to throw to the wide open fryer, uh, Michael Mayer. I keep getting the guys mixed up at this point, and we just can't get anything. And that one's... The defense doesn't want to play either. I don't... This Raiders team is just... I don't know what they're doing out here. Offensively, throwing away interceptions. Defensively... A wide open tipped ball just doesn't want any part of that. Diablo gets across there, gets the hit, but third and three. I mean, they're already back in field goal range to this point. They're going to score another three points at least. We're probably going to give up another touchdown at this rate. Spillane gets the hit across, finally doing something. And they're going to kick another field goal here. Unless they're going for it here on fourth and three, so... We could use a big stop here. Send in the blitz. They do run with Najee Harris. And he just breaks past all our tacklers and gets down to the eight-yard line. I, I don't know what to say at this point. This team is looking terrible. As they throw to the outside, we do stop them at the two-yard line. No timeouts. The clock may run out. Three, two, they get the snap off. And it, they get the touchdown on the sideline because there's no one guarding George Pickens. So what could have been a potential drive to get a field goal to end this half for us with Michael Mayer across the middle ends up with us going down 17 at halftime. So Jimmy Garoppolo coming back out here again. I mean, the Steelers have 350 total offensive yards in the first half. They are absolutely killing us. And the only way we're even going to try to sniff a comeback here is to get Josh Jacobs involved more in this run game. I mean, we've been passing the ball a good amount just because we've been in a hole since basically the kickoff. I mean, we scored that touchdown first, but ever since that touchdown happened, everything has been downhill for us. We got an interception. It didn't matter. The offense couldn't do anything with it. We got to stop, try to get the ball down to get a field goal, and... They end up getting a touchdown as the time runs out. And Josh Jacobs coming down the field. A huge run for us. we got to run hurry up. I mean, we just need something to go. We're going to keep handing the ball off to him because he's the only reliable player on this offense as of right now. And that being said, we're going to go to a throw here. After I say that, we need to get a touchdown. Actually, we'll, we'll run this on the edge. See if we can get a good block from Mayer. And he does, but... Just nothing going there. Third and five. 
He gets locked up. Hunter Renfro. I don't know where that throw was to. I mean, they're telling us to take the field goal. We'll take the points, I guess. Daniel Carlson making that one a two-touchdown game. But we're just getting absolutely killed. I mean, Josh Jacobs had the biggest play for us today besides that touchdown in the first quarter. We'll see what this defense can do. If anything, probably give up an 80-yard touchdown on the first play. That's my prediction, at least. And if not, probably just not guard anyone or tackle Najee Harris. I'm expecting another touchdown here from the Steelers, so hopefully they can prove me wrong. They're lined up here for a run. We're going to send the blitz. I mean, we expect Najee Harris to get the ball on every play. They might as well up to this point. They do pass it. They throw it across the middle. Epps isn't there. Darno Washington running down the field, and Epps can't tackle him. What did I say? First play touchdown. It's almost like I'm giving up at this point, but I don't know what else to do with this defense. Epps dives out and can't get Darnell Washington, and they immediately score a touchdown. So, first and ten here. Down three touchdowns. Josh Jacobs continuing to do work for us. As you see on the... We, well, we already saw earlier, but the two-year contract for us, it, I mean, if he can go out there and play defense for us too as he keeps chugging along and getting us yards, if he can go out there and play defense for us too and maybe throw the ball, then that'll be worth it. But as of right now, I think what we've seen, this is the best player on our team. And I'm glad we gave him the two-year contract because without him, in this game, we'd had virtually nothing. Jimmy Garoppolo can't hit a guy if he was standing wide open, like I said earlier, as he throws down the field for Devontae Adams. I don't know if Devontae just stopped running or what happened there, but that's why we don't throw the ball, because we can only gain yards on the ground, apparently. We're going to hand it off again. And Josh Jacobs, another play where he just gets another 10 yards. Colton Miller's hurt. I mean, this whole offensive line is terrible anyway. So, I don't know what to say about that. We are going to try to throw the ball to Josh Jacobs here with that X factor. See if Jimmy Garoppolo can hit him. And trying to get the ball away. There's four guys. We're not... There's, we're taking the time out. We don't need him at the end of the game anyway. There's four guys that get us. We have five offensive linemen blocking. And every single pass rusher made it in on that play. Passes incomplete. Third and 18 again. Something needs to change for us. Because right now, this team is just looking like they don't even want to be out here. Hunter Renfro down the field. Underthrown. Intercepted. The third one of the game. And he's just breaking off of every tackle or two. I mean, our offense is looking like our defense. Our defense is looking like our offense. There has been nothing good about this game. And I'd expect them to continue to run the ball. Unless they want to run up the score again and throw it. But Diablo gets in there, gets a stop. Najee Harris, 163 yards and a touchdown. This defense, which practically won us the game last week, has turned into one of the worst that I have ever seen, it seems like, in one week. Like, we're getting stops here, but for what? We're down 21 points. They let Darnell Washington get a 75-yard touchdown. Najee Harris get an 80-yard touchdown. This is just terrible for us. And in a game that should have been winnable, as we get a pick there from Bennett, in a game that should have been winnable, I'm not going to say it's over now, but... Look at the scoreboard and how we're playing. Maybe we should just tank for Caleb Williams. We're going to hit Hunter Renfro. Never back down, never give up. See if we can do something. If our defense can get a stop like that again, then we're in for business. But the way that they've been playing today, I don't expect to see another interception. But maybe I'm being too harsh on this defense. We're picking up some yards here. Michael Mayer gets across, gets a first down. We continue to build this momentum, and we're fine. We'll give it to Josh Jacobs. Still has his X-Factor here. I mean, he's been getting us like 10 yards a carry on these past few carries, so. 
doesn't get anything there. That's fine. I think he, yeah, he, does he still, he still has the X Factor, so as long as we didn't lose it. Hit Hunter Renfro again. Gets that first down. See, we're building up momentum here. If we could have just done this in the first and second quarter, we wouldn't be in a massive hole right now. But we can't go back and change that. We got to do what we need to do right now. Devontae Adams across the middle. Trying to sneak that one in there. And it's intercepted again by Minka Fitzpatrick. I don't know what to say. We get a Chandler Jones gets hurt. Another one of our X Factor players. So this team just going absolutely down the drain right now. I'm expecting a run. We're going to send an all out blitz. They do pass it. We hold them to four yards. We got lucky there. Lining up in those big packages. I mean, we'll keep Tyree Wilson in. I would assume that they're running the ball, but I guess not. Second and one here. See what they do. They've barely ran the ball in the second half. I mean, they've been getting it across with these passes, so I guess that you might as well keep doing that. But I'd assume with a running back that has 180-plus yards that you'd run the ball a little more. We'll see if it happens on this play, though. Kenny Pickett moving around, and they just line up in what looks like a run and then end up throwing it again. They're lined up in the same position, so... We'll see if they they pass again. They they really love this set as George Pickens breaks off of two guys and gets in the end zone. What else can we do? So first and ten here. Gonna hand it off to Josh Jacobs. Get in a big run there on the outside. Gonna continue to feed him the ball. I don't know what else to do. I think the rest of this game is pretty much going to be the Josh Jacobs show. Try to make this score look a little better. Going to give him the screen pass. No blockers out to the outside. Jimmy Garoppolo with four interceptions today. Uh, Michael Mayer stops running the crossing route. This team has looked like they've given up. And... I mean, unless something changes here on third down. Oh, and Michael Mayer gets the first down. So we'll hold off there. Going into the fourth quarter. Only down a few scores. I mean, it could be worse, right? Only down four touchdowns. So we get a touchdown here. Get the onside kick. Another touchdown. Yeah, another onside kick. Another touchdown. And we're right back in it. So that's, that's just all we need to do here in the fourth quarter. Throw to Hunter Renfro. He holds on. Second and one. Should be something coming here. If we can continue this momentum. No one's open, and we're not going to risk throwing downfield considering Jimmy Garoppolo just throws it to absolutely nobody. Third and one. We're going to take what they're giving us. Josh Jacobs gets the first down. 122 yards today. He's been fantastic. I don't know if I could say that about any other player. Michael Mayer catches it, and it gets broken up towards the end. Throw to the outside. A good incompletion as they break it up again. Trying to throw it across the middle. No one it gets open, and TJ Watt sacks us. They're telling us to go for it, I guess. You might as well. The fans are booing here. If I was there, too, I would be booing. I don't even know who to throw to. I, Michael Mayer is the only one who even relatively looked open. Everyone else was covered down the field, and we turned the ball over. So they run it on third and 12 again. We get the stop, so we're going to get the ball back, see if we can do something with it. On second down here, hit Josh Jacobs for a little bit of a gain, two yards. It's just no one getting open up to this point. And if we try to throw in a tight window, Jimmy Garoppolo is going to throw a pick. So we're in... A little bit of a dilemma. Jacoby Myers gets open. We're going to continue to run that hurry up. Maybe get a touchdown on this drive. Michael Mayer was open, but we already threw it across the middle earlier. I mean, we can't risk throwing these 
deep balls again because Jimmy Garoppolo just can't get it done. Trying to throw that tight window on the sideline. That was a great throw. I can't blame that one on him. That was just an even better defensive stop. Second and 10. Devontae Adams is open. And on... Underthrown. Uh, I'd, I'd, I'm speechless up to this point. And hopefully this Pittsburgh offense just runs the clock out because I don't want to see our team go back out on the field again after this. So Pittsburgh continuing to throw on us, and they throw for a touchdown. I mean, come on, guys. There's four and a half minutes left. The horse is already dead. Why are you kicking it? This is just an embarrassment to this franchise. Four plays, 50 yards. I was just hoping they just ran the ball for the rest of the game. Our offense is going to come back out. And we are just going to run the ball. I don't want to risk any of our wide receivers getting hurt. Jimmy Garoppolo is not coming back into the game. You, We're going to have a something to figure out after this game. But for right now, Aiden O'Connell is going to captain the ship for the rest of this game. And we're just probably going to hand this ball off to Josh Jacobs and leave with at least a little bit of dignity, hopefully, after getting absolutely embarrassed here in prime time. Uh, we'll figure stuff out at the end of the game, but for now, we got no words. So the final play here, Josh Jacobs running this clock out for us, and Hunt ends with 164 yards um, just with some of these final plays running out the clock. We're not going to bother to even try to go down there and score trying to keep everyone healthy up to this point as the clock runs out and I mean we can take a look at these stats but this team did not do good Jimmy Garoppolo 22 for 44 218 passing yards and five interceptions he had as many interceptions as Kenny Pickett had touchdowns rushing Josh Jacobs had 30 carries towards the end of the game getting a lot of garbage time yards Najee Harris only 18 carries and still had more yards averaging 9.7 per carry we just could not stop him receiving Fryermuth with 101 George Pickens with 117 just couldn't do anything there either defensively I mean well I guess we can look at the um, if they have the broken tackles Najee Harris broke seven tackles I mean defensively too there's definitely a lot of missed tackles and uh, looking at this they scored almost two touchdowns every single quarter except the fourth I mean we just got absolutely rocked and Jimmy Garoppolo we had a lot of questions about him going into this season he performed all right through the first few weeks this week though five interceptions there we got to do something I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do yet um, but let me know down below guys do you want to see Jimmy Garoppolo get traded do we want to see Aiden O'Connell come in should we go into the free agency um, looking at our free agents we did see Aiden O'Connell play well to start this series in uh, the preseason but we have guys like Nick Foles Joe Flacco Colt McCoy where do we rock with Jimmy Garoppolo I think it's gonna be really hard after that game a lot of those throws they we had wide open receivers and he either under threw them over threw them wasn't even close half of the other throws that he made just completely aired out to the sideline I don't know what to do the defense I think will be back I mean it's gonna be really tough to do that on this defense the defense is 80 overall so it's not great this team up to down overall is not great we saw I mean we beat the Bills last week with our defense performing very well and then we come out with this performance so back-to-back -back weeks where the team just looked absolutely like different I mean you can call it bipolar you can call it whatever you want last week looking fantastic this week looking terrible so let me know down below what should we do with Jimmy Garoppolo up to this point? Should we hand the keys to Aiden O'Connell for this season? Should we sign a free agent or should we let him ride? 